Authority Assembly reported for the exposition of public policy contained to the address of the government. I request all of our members and our guests to remain standing in silence. Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members, while drought has affected most parts of our country, our region has borne the blunt of its effects. Our economy has been devastated by the drought, and we have lost over 365,000 cattle, 30,000 donkeys, over 500,000 shots, and 160,000 camels for the last nine months. The monetary value of the livestock we have lost is of 11 billion Kenya shillings, equivalent to our annual allocation from the national government. Drought has also affected our education sector. Many schools are experiencing financial stress and cannot provide for food for their students. Hunger crisis could lead to malnutrition which will have a long-lasting impact on our education sector. Therefore, there is a need to take urgent contingency measures, including water supply to schools and, and contemplating food supplies to 41 boarding schools and over 300 Charlie ECD centers in our county. We have appealed to the national government and development partners to supplement our effort in this regard. Even as we consider short-term intervention, we should not forget that we are in a protracted crisis caused by climate change. Moreover, unpredictable weather pattern has made rain fed agriculture and pastoralism, as we know it, untenable. Therefore, we must proactively think and invest in a more scientific way of questioning our people while we cannot deal with climate change and its impacts on our own, we can adapt and mitigate it. What has come out very clearly in his uh, uh, whatever opening uh, speech is the issue of uh, drought and the devastating uh, uh, livelihood problems that the county is facing. We know that uh, this county is facing uh, third consecutive years of failed rain and our people by nature are pastoralists and we have lost a lot of livelihoods. So the governor in his address has uh, spelled out a very clear and elaborate plan on how he wants to intervene and uh, reverse the challenges that has been caused by the drought with the support of uh, national government, particularly the efforts that are being uh, spearheaded by His Excellency the Deputy President regarding Ashagwa on ensuring that uh, people are not going to die as a result of uh, uh, lack of food. So uh, food, uh, livelihood, uh, water problems, education and health has been uh, very clearly outlined in the governor's address. And uh, this, I think, uh, as Mandera County Assembly and the people elected to represent our people will ensure, as per the request of the governor, we are going to give him all the necessary support. Uh, that just was fair. Uh, he talked on a lot of issues, a lot of things to be discussed. Most importantly, he talked about uh, the devastating effect of the drought, and he specified uh, exactly what can be done to caution our citizen, our Mandera County citizen, how to caution about the drought uh, effect. And we are happy that he brought out uh, several programs uh, that he wants to roll out uh, in his government. Uh, most importantly, what touched me more is, uh, is uh, the issue of uh, cash transfer to the less uh, fortunate uh, society in our, in our county. And uh, also, uh, that was, that, uh, I support him uh, on that.